compiling loop statements. So we have discussed uh, the conditional block. Let's talk about the loop while can the condition and then the statements. So the method one, again, follow the same strategy. If the condition you are looking for, just invert it. If condition does not uh, hold true, go to exit, execute these statements, otherwise go to loop, loop back again, okay? So this is how the loops are executed. If condition does not, if condition satisfy, then go to exit, which means that the loop is finished. Otherwise, execute this statement and then go back to the previous uh, instruction. Another method is that you first go to check the test. Suppose you have a program written and the control is reading your program from top to bottom. It is executing line by line and it reaches to this point. So it will go to test and it will check for the condition. If condition satisfy, then it go to this statement loop and start executing the loop structure. And again, it will reach the same point for testing again. If the condition does satisfy, then it will loop back again. If the condition does not satisfy, it will move on with the next instruction in order. Okay? So we have um, carefully look at this example. What we are doing here is initializing the variable sum equals zero, i equals zero. I have just discussed uh, a while ago how to initialize a variable. And then we have while i is less than 100. So this is the end condition, ending loop condition. And suppose that this value is stored in x20, okay? Here value 100 is stored in x20. So this is a pseudo code. So how do we initialize a variable? What would you write to initialize i, assuming that i is stored in x18? We have discussed this, yes? Let's say i is stored in, I'm moving to that part, and x20. Yeah. So how do you initialize uh, i equals 0? What will be the instruction, risk five instruction to initialize value um, zero in i? Add, okay, x18, x zero, and, and zero? If you are using add instruction, sorry, if you are using add instruction, both the operands must be a register. So you can initialize with x0. If you're using add i, then you can simply write x0 and then 0. This is a constant value, OK, with this immediate. So both ways are correct. But if you have to initialize i with the 10, you cannot use this way, OK? You have to use this procedure, add i, x0, and 10, OK? Okay, so here, method one we are following. X18, X0, 0, we are using add i instruction. And same is the case for a sum, X19. What we will write for this instruction? If, how do you translate this? If i is less than 100, we can use BLT branch if less than or we are actually checking for branch if less than not equal what should we use greater than okay so first of all we are also initializing loading this value add x20 and um, the hundred value into x20 so for this one we can use branch if greater than equal Okay, so branch of greater than or equal what? If the value of i, which is x18, is greater than x20, when this condition, when i becomes greater than 100, only then loop should ex exit. Okay, otherwise, if this condition does not satisfy, 
it is going to execute the next instruction which is sum plus equal i which is x19 x19 and x18 similarly add i incrementing the value of i by 1 and then how will you jump back to loop the same beq x0 x0 in loop so it will jump to loop and then we should also have exit at the bottom understand